Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Secret Society of Twisted Storytellers. Welcome to our event, our Planned Parenthood Secret Society of Twisted Storytellers fundraiser for Planned Parenthood. We are so excited and thrilled. Are you excited tonight? And thank you, Satori, for lending the stage to these amazing stories that do, in fact, connect us. What we need is the stories that heal, that brings us closer to the truth. The truth of Planned Parenthood for many people is a little bit stunning, and that is we don't like life surprises a lot. So 97% of our services are about never feeling surprised by your reproductive health care system. Tonight you're going to hear from five storytellers. They're going to each tell a 10 minute, 10 to 12 minute story. It's going to be like, hmm, watching a little short film. And all you have to do is sit out there in the audience and let them take you and your mind and your imagination. It's a roller coaster ride tonight. We got five slamming stories. How many people have ever been to a storytelling show? How many people have ever been to this, this storytelling show? All right. How many people haven't? Oh my goodness, are you in for the time of your life? Our, uh, our theme tonight is an evening of stories from life surprises. So each story is going to have that element of surprise in it. One morning, really early, it was like 8.30 in the morning, I hear this bam, 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 bam on my door. And I look out and there's like, there's sheriffs there. There's like a crowd of them. They're like stacked like bowling pins. It's like one sheriff, then two behind that sheriff, then three behind that sheriff, and then four behind that sheriff. I I'm like, you know, I'm a law-abiding citizen, right? And they're like, open the door, ma'am. I was 30 years old, and I had just been promoted to the job of my dreams, advertising manager. I had wanted this job since I was 15 years old. I was most likely inspired by Samantha Stevens from Bewitched. She would come in, she would wave her hand, twitch her nose, and bam, advertising magic. Dad looks at us, and he said, uh, when I were you boys' age, I had already had 17 children. And he said, uh, there is something wrong here. If my two college-educated sons don't have children, then I won't have any smart grandchildren to give me great-great and great-great-great-grandchildren. Your mom and I are waiting for you to do something. And with that, he turned and left the room. I was a rock star. I wore blue hair, spandex, and blue metallic boots. He was a keyboard player in a local reggae group. He was tall, wore a big white turban with a jewel in the middle, these big red olive Baghdad pants and a big ring in his nose. It was love at first sight. <laughs> and when he told me his name was Abdul Shakur Abdullah Muhammad Ahmad, I'm thinking, well, you know, that's not really a catchy stage name. <laughs> And his mother called him Kevin, so it was confusing. My, my dad, uh, if he don't like something, he gonna tell you. Uh, my father got a hold to the, my slick games, and he one day stopped giving me money. And when I finally got myself into treatment, I got myself together, and I said, I need to start paying his money back. I, I said, Dad, I'm on my way. I, I'm, I'm riding down the street. I need to, don't come over here, Lauren. Uh, 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 Dad, I just need to open the door. Open the door. I'm pulling up in front of that. Lord, didn't I tell you don't come over here? He come out to the front door. Didn't I tell you don't come over here, Dad? I'm, I, I just wanted to give you. I done told you don't come over here, Dad. I just wanted to give you this check. He looked at the check and looked at me and said, boy, you look good. <laughs> I want to thank you for being here. You're helping us. You're helping us get the word out. You're helping us to serve people who would not otherwise get health care. We serve 3,000 people a year just in our Detroit Health Center, and we have 17 across the state. So we're doing a lot of work here, and it's so important. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.